Nick Ravlin, uh, you guys pick up a big win over a rival like Tri Center on their homecoming. Uh, just what are your thoughts? Um, we, we came out pretty well, but I think we definitely could have executed better in the second half. Um, there were some sloppy drives. Defense really come, couldn't come up with stops on third downs, but altogether a win's a win and we're 3-0. Tell me about your night. Uh, you're making plays through the air. You're making plays on the ground. Uh, just what were you seeing out there? Um, I saw a lot of routes open underneath. And then once we got those going, uh, we kind of got the run game going. And I thought our guys up front played really well for us. And receivers made some big plays. Great quarterback battle tonight between yourself and Tri-Centers, Bryson Freeberg, two really good quarterbacks. Uh, does having someone on the other side like that maybe make you want to bring your game a little bit more? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I got a lot of respect for Bryson. I mean, he's a great player. He's a great athlete. Um, he really brought it tonight. He made a lot of guys miss tackles. Uh, he's, he's a great player. I got a lot of respect, and uh, it, was, it was a good battle. 3 0 for you guys. Uh, no easy weeks, it seems like. You turn around and get a St. Albert team that beat Loma pretty good. Uh, what do you expect from them, and what's it going to take? Uh, we expect another physical game. Um, it's it's going to be a battle up front, and I think our guys are ready for the fight. Scott Pearson, a couple big scores tonight. And you guys beat Underwood. Uh, Scott, just what are your, or you guys beat Tri Center, actually, as Underwood. Scott, just what are, what are your thoughts tonight on a win like this? Uh, like Nick said, I thought we came out really strong, but then we kind of slowed down in the second half. Uh, that was kind of bad, but once we started getting it going, uh, it, was, it was a good win. You had a big touchdown score there early that made it a two-score game, then they had to play catch-up the rest of the way. Walk us through that score. What would you see? Um, I saw my lineman blocking. It was, it was a great cutback, and after I had that cutback, our receivers, they got upfield and they blocked, and it was all, it was all them. I mean, it was a great run, but it, I, could not, I could not have done it with, any, with everyone on our team. Yeah, you guys had a, a pretty big offensive line. It seemed like maybe size was in your guys' favor tonight. Uh, yeah, our, our boys are pretty big, and they kind of fight at practice, but once once they get everything figured out in a game, they're really good, and when they're really good, our, we're really good. Yeah, I think you went for over 100 yards rushing. Nick went for over 100 yards rushing. Uh, how potent is that duo when it's clicking like it was tonight? Um... I guess it's pretty good. Uh, we'll just keep on trying our best, and we'll bring it every week. Uh, obviously, the goal is to go 1-0 every week. You guys do that. You're 3-0 now. You turn your attention to St. Albert. Uh, what's it going to take to go 4-0? Um, well, like Nick said, it's going to be another physical fight. Uh, we're going to get our guys ready. We're going to study some film, and we're going to go after it. Coach, a uh, lot of points tonight, but in the end, you guys had more points than Tri Center. I'm sure you got to be pleased with that. Uh, yeah, I guess you know that's as long as we've got one more at the end of the game. Uh, that's that's really what it comes down to. Uh, you know, obviously got off to a fast start. Um, credit to them, they they stuck with it. Okay, uh, their tempo in the second half kind of got to us. I think we we didn't tackle very well in the second half, and obviously made it real interesting. Um, proud of the offense for responding in the second half when we needed them to, and then proud of the defense as well for regrouping and and making some stops down the stretch. Yeah, you mentioned the, the defense. They had maybe two of the, the more unsung plays of the game. Braden has that pick six early on. Then uh, John Casson gets a ter of interception that gave you guys short field. How big were those turnovers tonight when you look at, at the grand scheme of things? Uh, the grand scheme of things are huge. I mean, at the time, uh, you know, with the lead we had, um, not that they seemed like less significant, but, but definitely at the end of the game, uh, you look at the two-score game, and, and we got a, we got a, a touchdown there on that pick six, and, and John set us up for a score. So those obviously those uh, two turnovers and touchdowns are huge, and uh, um, you know I think I think our defense is plenty capable. We've just got to we've got to tackle better. Uh, we've got to have a, a little more sense of urgency, I think, and because uh, we've got really really good players on the defensive side of the ball, and we'll we'll regroup and uh, make some corrections and and get better next week. You guys faced a really good quarterback tonight in Tri Center's Bryson Freeberg. He, he kind of went off a little bit in the second half, but you kept him at bay in the first half. Uh, what were you guys doing well defensively in the first half? Well, first of all, credit to him. I mean, he's a, he's a, a super tough kid, super talented kid. Um, he just kept plays alive in the second half with his feet. And like I said, it was just hard for us to tackle him. Uh, we tried to spy him with a linebacker, and, and sometimes he even you know got away from from that um, and, and made plays for his for his team. Um, again, proud of the defense. You know when we kind of had to buckle down there when we really really needed to stop in a one possession game. 
uh, they were able to get it and uh, get our ball, get the ball back to the offense. And uh, offense was able to put one more in there in the fourth quarter um, uh, to help us get the W. 3-0 on the season, no easy weeks. You turn around and get a St. Albert team that uh, beat Loma tonight pretty comfortably. What's it going to take to get the best of St. Albert next week? Uh, offensively, I think we not need to continue to stay balanced um, in terms of, yeah, I think we ran the ball pretty well tonight. Um, and then, obviously, uh, Nick is pretty efficient in the passing game, and, and we got a lot of receivers we feel, we feel good about. So we'll have to be balanced on offense. Obviously, we need to tackle better. They've got really good athletes. Um, they play really well in space. Uh, really nice quarterback uh, is back from a year ago that, that made some um, some good plays against us last year. So uh, we know that we're going to have a really tough challenge on our hands uh, um, next week with St. Albert um, and uh, they'll be itching to, to keep that winning streak alive.